Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to address the most important thing in the world and that is how to make your long distance relationship work. So I have four tips for you on that and if you want to hear those tips then please keep on watching. So I pretty much have everything written down just to make sure I don't forget anything. So this might be lengthy but I'm going to try my best not to make this video very long. I'll try to keep it short as, as possible. And so first off, I wanted to talk to you guys about my relationship with my now fiance, Kyle. Um, so we did meet in back in 2015 and this was when I was uh, taking a semester off from school. And going to this relationship, we kind of like figure out that we're going to be in a long distance relationship just because where I live and where he lives and where I go to school and then where he goes to school. And at that point, we're like, okay, at first, obviously, it's going to be so difficult not to see each other every day uh, physically. But you know what? We just have to make it work, right? Uh, for the person that we love. Okay, why don't we just get started with the tips that I have for you guys. First off, before that, I wanted to say that all of these tips are only going to work if both of you are okay with this arrangement. Because if one person is okay and then the other one's not it's just you know not gonna work and i know like in the relationship everything needs a balance of everything so one can be like the most dramatic thing which is me and then the other one's more patient it needs to have that kind of balance or else it's like you know if you're both hot headed then so i have four tips for you and the first one is obviously communicate and time i feel like those two kind of like tied in together um, so I was, before creating this video, I was like looking at things like what I should address when talking about long distance relationship and I came across this website and it says, give them space and just act like you're single. I'm like, uh-uh, because, you know, honestly, that's just not going to work. So first off, we like to communicate every day, either text, call, um, FaceTime unless obviously that person is busy or you're busy uh, studying for exam or work meetings and all that stuff. Um, you just kind of like work with your uh, schedule pretty much. And I feel like no matter where you are, I feel like you just need to make time because it's very important to keep that person in the loop of what's going on with your life you know whether you had a bad day at work whether you had a good day promotion all that good stuff it's just nice to kind of like have that person updated with what's going on because being in a long distance relationship is already hard and kind of like leaving them left out it's like you know so sad and that's kind of like how we see things and how we think that it's gonna work and obviously being in a long distance relationship it's hard but if you're in the position where you are okay to kind of like travel to see that person then go for it and then vice versa right so back when we were in school like i said i would make time i would make sure that all of my classes are done early on fridays because it's a good weekend right good weekend with the person that you love and all that stuff unless he's he or she is busy doing work or studying for exam and that's understandable but um that's kind of like how we did it i said like okay i have less um less hectic schedule so i would come and see you and that's pretty much what i did and he would do the same thing during the summer and you know it's just nice so actually that's not the long distance relationship part um because kyle also got an internship in California so that's obviously like a bummer but I mean it's good because he's working towards a good future for the both of us and that's already been established ever since then so that's okay so he got a job offer to I'm not gonna say the company but he got a job offer in California so it was like a three hours behind uh, in terms of like the time so when he was there obviously I just we just gotta shuffle and make things work because we know we love each other very much. So um, we kind of like made an arrangement obviously because planes like flying to another country is not very 
cheap <laughs> um, they are expensive especially if you're gonna go for like a long weekend right those are the most expensive plane tickets so we kind of like established that I would see him during his birthday which is in February and during our Thanksgiving here in Canada which is in October and then he would see me during my birthday and our anniversary that's so that's kind of like how we made the arrangement to kind of like make this entire thing work because i know being in a long distance relationship is hard he was so far away and plus the time difference it was just it wasn't brutal but it was like you know a little tough for the both of us but uh, we managed to make it work yeah so that was that was it in terms of our long distance relationship in Canada and in the States and I'm kind of like in the position where it wasn't so hard for me to go to the States because I didn't have to wait for any visa or anything that's why we kind of like made it work and obviously it's different if you're gonna need to have a visa to travel so that's that's just very hard um, I'm sure you can make it work but you know again whichever one is is comfortable and more convenient to the both of you so tip number two is uh, set a daily routine i just think it's very important because it's something that i i would always look forward to um every time we talk and yeah whether them cooking in front of you or them singing in front of you or them uh, talking gossip to you about something else but yeah, so setting a daily routine, I think, is, is very important in a long-distance relationship. So, for example, Kyle and I's daily routine is this, okay? So, first, obviously, we just have to text each other good morning every morning. Doesn't matter whether it's late morning. Just to know, like, okay, I'm awake, all this stuff, I just started my day, and that right so that's it and we don't talk to like whenever we're ready to talk unless you know he texts a little bit during the day and all that in between but not so much because obviously we work in school but um yeah so text in the morning and then we facetime at night doesn't matter what time we pretty much like when he was in california we would facetime at 9 p.m because let 9 p.m my time and then 9 8, 7, 6, and 6 p.m. is time. And then he would actually cook in front of me. And that's kind of like something that I look forward to every night, him cooking because it's just so nice. Wow, he's cooking and you know, all this. And he'll show me what he's cooking pretty much. And then, so once dinner's done, we would actually like watch a show. We try to watch a show every day. <laughs> and then during the weekdays and then maybe movie maybe a movie or like during the weekend it's just so hard to find movies these days i feel like and there's just a lot of options you don't really know what to choose so that's why we kind of like stick to like tv shows because it's easier it's like longer um season longer episodes and you know you don't have to worry about finding movies and usually that's kind of like stressful it's like i don't know what to watch because for us sometimes i like something romantic and not and a little girly and comedy and all that but he's more into like real life scenarios documentaries action and yeah sometimes comedy but very rare right <laughs> But yeah, so some shows that we actually watched already was The Office. We love The Office. We actually watched it maybe twice and he watched it four times already. But it is, I love The Office because it's just so funny and it's very short. Like they're, they're all short episodes, like 20 minutes per episode. So that's kind of like something that we like because sometimes if we don't have enough time to talk to each other, then we'll just watch it for 20 like if we don't have enough time to watch a movie or a long show then we just watch the office and pretty much just brightens up our day because of michael scott and if you watch it you know what i'm talking about and then obviously game of thrones when it was still airing so we used to watch that game of thrones we love it so much like the best show ever like everyone else is saying it's good so if you haven't watched it i feel like you should watch it and then also Breaking Bad, we like it. And then 90 Day Fiance, we love freaking 90 Day Fiance. We actually just watched the most recent like season, which is like Ed and what's her name, Rosemary. We just like it because it's so it's so dramatic and yeah, it's and it's funny. So 
we because I used to watch it with my dad and I told him did you want to watch it just try it out and then he did and and now we're actually watching it and we're just going through all the seasons like 90 day fiance before 90 days happily ever after and all that it's crazy i know but we just find it re really funny and then so after that so just before i go to bed we would take our vitamins we actually both have the same vitamins so we got the iron pills and the multivitamins and that's kind of like how our routine is and i love it it's just something that i i always look forward to so i feel like having a daily routine is very important because it kind of like gives you a little bit of sense when you guys live together in the future and all that so i feel like you need to have it because it's just it's great it's fun and you know it's it's good to have okay and then we're on tip number three tip number three is create a fun Day. Obviously, it's so hard to go on physical dates when you're in a long distance relationship just because you know you don't see each other physically. So, what else are you gonna do? You also need to have that date, right? So, I remember when he was in, in um, California. We would actually order the same food. So if I if I like burrito, I get burrito, and then he would get a burrito, and then we'll watch the same movie. And my family knows how we watch. We will watch at the same exact hour, minute, and second. So what we would do is find a movie, and then we would count up to three, like three, two, one, and then we hit play together. We just wanted to make sure we're on the same exact moment. So create a order the same thing, and uh, so food wise, watch a movie. You can pick whatever movie you want. So it's like you're mo watching. You're on a movie date good you're in a movie date and you're in a dinner date how cool is that <laughs> and then you know you can have a little bit of uh, a glass of wine together uh, make sure that he's got he or she got alcohol as well that way you know you it's just not you drinking so that's also one thing um yeah so i feel like those are the three things that you need to have to create a fun date or the same thing together watch a movie drink alcohol <laughs> and lastly Tip number four, we're on the last tip. I feel like you need to be creative. Um, obviously, if you're in a long distance relationship, sometimes it could be hard and boring. So I like to spice things up a little bit and create. I like to be creative. So I actually was looking, so how it started is because I was looking for a family game card on Amazon and then I came across like couples and all that. And I found this one. So this is our moment cards. And this is a great conversation starters for a great relationship. So this is pretty much a questionnaire. Like a, uh, so each card is like different questions. There's like a variety of category. There's um, childhood category, there's family category, there's relationship, there's future, there's past and all that. I just find it really fun and you know it's just great because sometimes his work in my school could be really uh, draining so having something to talk about is actually pretty fun other than how his school work all that so that's that. I'm gonna give you an example of what's in it. So first, this one, this question right here. What's your idea of a perfect vacation and how can we make it happen? So that's that, that's really good. Lastly, I'm gonna leave this one for now. I feel like this is the best question to end this is, what's something you never conf uh, confess to your parents until much later and that you laugh about now? So it's just a sample of, you know, it's it's good to spice things up a little bit. You can't just be boring or else, nah, where is it going to go, right? So this one I got for $24.95. I know it's pretty hefty, but it's actually so fun to spice things up. So it's this one right here. Let's see. Can you see it? And it's really good. It's rated four. It's rated four point five, I believe, and there's like forty one hundred reviews. So, what's not to like? I was like, okay, I'm sold. I want to get that. And then another thing that I like, I actually I found this uh, from my sister, and this is the quiz 
book for couples it's this one right here so this book is pretty much like a questionnaire and there is a lot of categories so there's like relationship first category food category entertainment physical features uh, traits and talents intimacy travel money family animals the future and the past and some general questions and what i love about this is it's like a whole questionnaire but it's like times two so first person will answer the question and then the second question will answer the same question it's just a test of how well you know each other and then at the end of the questionnaire there is a scorecard so you mark it and make sure that they they're they are correct and then whoever wins there's all there's a reward so there's like three options and you get to pick one and then let's see this so this is the category under hobbies and the rewards are number one attend an activity or hobby that your significant other has always wanted you to do together two give your significant other a day off to do whatever interests him or her and then three challenge each other to come up with a new hobby to try together at least once a month and who won here i think kyle did and he chose challenge each other to come up with a new hobby to try together at least once a month and i guess something that we wanted to try is maybe squash or golfing and uh yeah so we'll probably do that once this whole pandemic is over because it's crazy cannot handle this going on too long so those are the four tips of making your long distance relationship work first communicate in time second set a daily routine third create a fun date night and the fourth one is just be creative um yeah so i hope you guys love this video and i hope that you find it helpful because I know it's hard, it's difficult not to see that person physically, but if he or she is working towards a good future for the both of you, then let them be and just be supportive. And honestly, I know this because I know that this is going to work because obviously we're engaged. So if you follow those rules, maybe you'll end up in my shoe engaged and just about to plan the wedding and just start the family not soon but maybe in a couple of years but yeah so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed it so if you want to see more videos then please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next time bye